Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate with all of you. If they do, there's an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Scorpio, what's going on? <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Leave it to Scorpio to contradict the energies, but in a good way. In a good way. Ish. Let's see. Um, the Justice card for the overall energy here. It feels like things are starting to fall into place, into balance here for you. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, I, I don't know how, but we'll see. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Ace of Cups crossed by the Chariot. It feels like love is coming your way and it's kind of coming fast. Fast and furious here. Not furious, just fast. We'll see if it's furious when it will clarify, but for now it's fast. Uh, but that's where it's kind of like, what? But Scorpio is kind of moving slow here. It's like you're showing up as your focus being like, let's, let's take it easy. Let's take it slow. Let's chill. What's this rush? Let's take it one day at a time and then BAM love like, you know it's a little contradicting it's in a good way because I mean this energy feels good uh, from what I can feel here but the way this love is showing up is like whoa what the hell in the recent past here there's a soul connection maybe it's this soul connection I don't know um, in your strength card, the page of wands, you have this playful kind of, so you're not in that place of let's take it easy, let's take it slow, let's get grounded here, people, we need to be serious about this. There's a little playfulness kind of an energy attached to you here, you know, there's that whole sense of kind of curious out there, even though you may be moving slow through your life, your experience right now, um, there's a little bit of, let's have fun with it too, you know? which is perfect. Um, in the immediate future, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, you're getting hit by love. And it's because possibly you finally are ready to move on here from a previous situation. This is the supportive energy here. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, you've got a lot of confidence going on here. I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit in that place of confidence. So if you approach situations in which you're like, yeah, I'm ready to do this, or I want to do this, or uh, you may be setting yourself back a little. You may be like, yeah, um, I don't know. You do know. You have it. Here. It's here. Well, you can't see it. You know, it's in the hidden energies, but... Um, you've got a whole lot more confidence that you, than you give yourself credit for here. Uh, in your hopes and fears, you know, you, you don't want to disturb waters. You don't, you, you know, finally things are start, starting to settle down. It's like you don't want to create commotion here again. Um, which I feel like that's kind of falling more into your fear. Um, in the potential outcome, a little bit of the energies of the past coming back to you. Now don't get scared. Whenever we get past something and we're done, we're complete there, that doesn't mean, okay, I'm never going to deal with this again. No, energies from there are going to show up for months, even years after, because there's still some things that we may, you know, randomly learn from there all of a sudden. Um, so don't panic about that, because I feel like the energies are starting to set you up on a good path here, on a really nice, smooth kind of a... And then comes this energy and it's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, am I going back to that? No, it doesn't mean that, you know? So, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Justice card. Juno, you know, we're doing Scorpio. You ready for this? Love is coming your way, and I know exactly how that's going to show up for you. I'm going to come and kiss you on the nose. And I'm going to come fast to fit the, these energies. Okay? Okay. I'm glad you're sleeping and you're not paying attention to me, but, you know, you're the Knight of Pentacles. You're taking it slow. Oh, you, you, okay. She's stretching at least. Justice card. 
All right, Scorpio. Nice. The lovers, the king of cups, the moon. Yeah, I feel like you're not seeing it. It's going to hit you out of nowhere. It's going to come and it's going to be like, oh, my God. Uh, but it's definitely a match there. It's definitely one of those like queen of cups, king of cups. And the queen of cups shows up in your immediate future. So I feel like you're in the process of getting hit, basically, by love. I mean, what better way to get hit? Um, yeah, something is starting to fall into place here for you. Let's see the Ace of Cups. But again, you're not seeing it yet. You're not recognizing it yet. For the Ace of Cups, you get the Strength card, the Chariot again, the Page of Cups. Well, the same thing. It's coming. It's coming. But it's coming right now. It's showing up in small steps. Like, uh, it's here. You can kind of get it. You can kind of sense it. But it's not yet hitting you. Not yet. Getting ready to. Let's do the chariot. The devil, the six of swords, the six of wands. Um, So I see this love coming in and then I see you looking at it and being scared because it came in so fast and so not furious. It's not furious. It's beautiful. It's love. Uh, but because of how it comes in and again, your energy is that of smooth sailing. Let's take it easy. Everybody chill and then back. And because it's coming in like that, your initial instinct might be that of hell no. Let me go the other way. No, 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 no. And it feels good to you doing that, which is telling me that's your kind of like knee-jerk response to all of this, you know, because the energy is coming in, it's contradicting yours um, in the way that it's moving. And because of that, you might have the tendency to just run away from it. And you're showing up with the devil attached to that. So before you run, because apparently you want to, uh, stop for a minute. I'm not saying take it, embrace it, it's beautiful, it's love, you gotta take it, Scorpio. No, you do whatever you want, it's, you know, you have free will. Uh, you are showing up in the energy of responding to this, like, running away from it. So before you think about running, do me a favor and stop. Stop. You don't have to respond to this. You only owe it to respond to you. Because this energy does come in as a pattern where you could be, a lot of the times, you could have been running away from things that felt good just because they felt different. Um, so in order for you to, to treat this in a, a little bit of a different way, don't run, just stop for a minute and kind of sit with this energy. Sit there with it for a little bit instead of just running with it um, or from it rather. And see what that does. See how that changes your response to it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just stop for a minute before you see yourself walking out the door. You know? Um, let's do the Knight of Pentacles. In your focus. Man, you're slow. Uh, <laughs> which is okay, but I feel like it's related more to your own environment. You know, the way you're uh, walking through this path of the material, whatever it is you're creating for yourself as your own little empire, your own little life, you're moving through this energy quite slow. Um, I feel like you're bored at this, at how slow it is at times where you, you just want to like, oh, I'll, I'll just drop it all because it's moving too slow. But there is progress here and I feel like you're not recognizing this progress and because of that you may have the tendency to just walk away from it because the progress is so slow. Um, I don't know, take a look at it and be honest with yourself and just, just try to recognize if there is any progress or not. I see it here. Now I wonder if you're honest with yourself and you are seeing it, even if it's slow, you know, because you might be walking away from something that may lead you someplace. 
this whole reading comes in even when love strikes you just like that you have the tendency to walk away when there's progress but because it's so little so moving so slow you have the tendency to walk away so I, I'm getting that this reading is about you walking away from things that might serve you actually that might be good for you but if you're not giving it that split second of you stopping in your own tracks you're just gonna walk away. Page of Wands in your strength, you get the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Death card. Okay. There is something that interests you though, currently. There's, it's like it sparks your curiosity. There's something that makes you, hmm, makes you giddy. It makes you like, ah, I, I kinda wanna try this. Um, <laughs> but there you come again against that. You're like, nah, mm-mm. Uh -uh. But it speaks to your sense of curiosity. So I don't know what this is, but why not try it before giving up on it? You know? What's it gonna cost? I don't know. I don't know what this is. But again, that pattern of, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Don't take away from how you feel here. So it's like when energy comes towards you, I walk away. When you want to put your energy towards something that interests you, that speaks to you, I walk away. What are you doing, Scorpio? So we're focusing on that today, huh? For you. Now, I'm not saying that you're walking away from everything here, but um, that's definitely something that shows up for you to heal, possibly, at this time. Um, let's see. The Queen of Cups in the immediate future. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. The energy from your past here. They're it. I feel like they've already been around this energy of love that's shown up and hitting you like a, you know. Uh, they've been here. They've been around. They've been around. There's been something here going on. There, there, there's something here. But you're holding something against them here. That's why you're not attaching to this energy. And I'm not sure if it's coming from them. You're holding some pain against them, but I'm not sure if it's the pain that came from your interaction with them directly, or if it's your pain from someplace else that you're kind of keeping there in between the two of you, where it doesn't allow you to commit to this. Hmm. Let's do the Seven of Cups in the supportive energies. The Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant. Okay, so you do have this energy of moving on from a previous situation, but at the same time, there's still a little bit of something in you that kind of flips you back around, that kind of is, mm, I wonder, what if I went back or what if I, you know, so that tells me you haven't completely released that, but what didn't you release? Is it this pain that you took with you? that's not allowing you to move on, even though you are in this energy. So if you wanna move on, but you still carry the pain from the previous situation, that is gonna stand in the way of whatever's next. And it's shown up very clear in this reading because love is shown up. I, I'm not even sure if you see it as love, if you identify it as love because of the pain that's kind of blinding you there. You know, you're not seeing through the pain. You're not seeing the love. You, you, you have to go like this and be like, oh, there's love out there. I can't reach it because I have this going on here. I have to heal it, but, oh, you know. So I'm not even sure that you're seeing it at this point. Let's do the King of Swords in your hidden energies. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. It's like you're shifting your whole focus towards your environment, towards what you're creating for yourself, which is beautiful. It's amazing because you are making progress here, even though at times you're like, it's moving too slow. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, you're still kind of doing it. And your whole focus is shifted towards growing in that department, which, okay. You know, it happens where we shift into, okay, this is where I want to work on. Um, and that will not, definitely not allow you to recognize this love either. So you have quite a few blockages in front of this love that's coming your way. 
which this one, I don't see it necessarily as a blockage, but it could definitely take away from, because if you're focused here, you're not gonna see what's coming from here, you know? If you're too focused on here. If you're focused on here and you have your, you know, your eyes open in other directions too, yeah, you're gonna see it. But because you're focused here, and you have that pain in front of you too, you're definitely not gonna see this love. But it is someone that's already here. That's what I'm getting with this one. This love situation part. For the Five of Wands in your hopes and fears, you get the Four of Wands, the Empress, the Eight of Swords. So you do want commitment. You're very confused about who is attached to this commitment on the other end. Is it the previous person? Is it someone new? Is it... That's a good sign to me because I feel like you're not stuck on a particular person. If you're confused on how that commitment shows up to you and who's next to you within that commitment, that's a good sign to me. That's like, okay. So you're not hung up on one person because it could lead you into obsession here. It is feeling like it's conflicting to you, which sucks. It's like, I don't know. But uh, it's a good sign for me because that means that there is some sort of a detachment from it has to be that person, you know. So you're kind of there in the middle with that. Let's do the Five of Cups in the immediate future. You get the Five of Cups again, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. You're shown up here as resisting to let go of something from the past. It's like, I'm not, le I'm not letting this go. But what you're not letting go of is nasty energies, is... That's kind of telling me you're not forgiving the way things ended. You're not over the way things ended. You're not, um, and that, it, within that, there's that pain that's blocking you from moving on. So that's kind of keeping you on hold. Um, mm. It's a process, Scorpio. It's a process. But you, I mean, you're showing up in a lot of progress here. You're showing up in... Um, oh man, how do I put it? Because you're not stuck in that middle part of, okay, I'm moving on from that and on to the next. You're not stuck there. You're transitioning through that. You're just passing by. Um, and I feel like through this passing by, you've made a lot of progress, which allows you to just pass by, you know? Um, and more towards I'm moving on rather than hanging on to things. You're still hanging on to some energies from the past and those are in the way of you moving on. But the way you're working on things, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna heal these energies as well. You're gonna transmute them and heal from them. So I'm not really worried about those. I just see them showing them back up, which kind of makes sense because the, I mean, the minute the Three of Swords showed up, I'm like, ah. But it's okay. Let's do the universe to close this reading off. The Page of Swords, the Hangman, the Three of Pentacles. You know about the situation. I don't know what this is to you. It looks like a friendship almost at this point. So you know about it. And you are giving it attention at least. So you kind of recognize something in it. But for right now, you're not giving much. You're kind of keeping it on hold. And it makes sense with the energies you're experiencing. You're not there even to recognize it for what it is. So there's something here. It's not much, but there's something going on. Um, let's close it off with the Shamanic Medicine Oracle card for you. Let's see what you get out of here. You get the Lodge Council. Okay. Let's see what that is about. Hold on. Watch. All right. Uh, good news is on the way. Someone is holding back from you. Release your fears of being judged by others. Your silence does not defend you. Be brave and speak your truth. Don't worry about the reactions of others. Integrity is key. Only accept what feels right for you. And a little bit of historical insight here. 
Central to any tribal community was the meeting house or lodge, long before churches, village halls, courts, or other more modern buildings of significance, the lodge was the hub of all communal life. It was the home of the elders and the wise where advice could be sought, decisions made, and ceremonies held. Some cultures have managed to maintain their lodges. Across New Zealand, Maria, Maria's are meeting places for the Maori community. Nice. I feel like it's it does speak to community a lot. And it could be placing you at the center of the community in terms of just be honest with yourself, regardless of what that community has to yada yada yada, you know. Uh, sometimes it's going to show up as supportive, other times it's going to show up as non-supportive, and it is what it is. You're still going to be you, you know. So, um, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.